This is Flash. Welcome to the Drop in a Coil Show with Larry Woods and Rob Works and me. And uh, thanks to Grimner, as usual. Appreciate it. And Larry was running a little late. So we 30 seconds behind and no song for the RLM crowd. But I think we've made a contact here, right? You can hear me, Grim? <coughs> and for your chatting and questions, if you've got questions, use the uh, reallibertymedia.com chat. And the chatters and the bots and bodies are Farman, Cowboy Tech, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Asmo, Circulo, well, she's not on Chloe, Flash, somebody, that's me, Graham Z, Jays, Nines, Jays, Prince, Rob Works, the bubbler, Trust, no one, Vanna White, Weather Dork, The Phantom, CC66, Chloe again, Cyborg, Noodle, Emsiv, Frumpy, Matt, WJ2002, Ponsas, Smotaz, the holiest Roger in ZPix. And if you got questions, are you logging on to the. There he is, Larry logged on to the chat room. So, who's going to start tonight, guys? And what do we got to talk? Oh, I named the show, forgot to tell you. Tonight's show is entitled Just When You Have Had Enough, They. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> To fuel your speaking ideas tonight, guys. That's what I came up with. They pile it on deep. <laughs> mm, same thing, yeah. Yeah. Larry showed up. Thank you, baby. Just in time. I'm sorry, guys. I was busy getting a switched neutral four-way switch written down. Uh-huh. I've got to teach next Monday. They still had circuits, huh? Uh, well, it's sort of, kind of. We're uh, doing the easy stuff now. Um, we're making flash cards for the circuits. Okay. Uh, the, when, when we make these wiring diagrams, there's always a, a, a pattern that shows up in the wiring. And because of that pattern that like we call the bird's beak and and things like that and X's, because that pattern shows up, we can just now make a flash card that has that symbol on it, and we know that that part goes there in the circuit. <laughs> Damn it, Ray. Yeehaw. Did, the, did everybody hear that? Yeah, I, I think, think that, I, I, I think it, yeah. I got it turned up loud enough my neighbor can hear it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I heard it here, and I didn't even wasn't even wearing the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> so it uh, one of the one of the things that we have to have to make these lights switch back and forth, uh, not the lights, the motor circuit switch back and forth, is something similar to a four way switch. But since we're powering uh, the circuit all the time and switching the neutral, then we've got to, to show a four-way switch that's switching the neutral and how to wire that because it's a little bit different than, than a normal four-way where they power the switch and don't power the light all the time. They turn the hot on and off. Right. So I was getting that put down on paper and made pretty with different colors so that you can tell which wire's doing what. Right. So the, 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 yeah, the the flashcards and stuff are are going to be a an easy teaching thing once we get into the classroom section of it. Right. Sounds like you're getting it all worked out. Well, yeah, sort of. Uh, one of our one of our geniuses came up. Uh, he put seven volts in and got two hundred volts out. Uh, and the way he did that was going through a COB LED 
I don't remember what the COB means, but that's an LED that's an AC LED. It works both ways. Okay. It, it doesn't make it on where it's only one direction. So, uh, whatever that stands for. Uh, that's just the way we've been going about it. We put that circuit down today. We put it in there uh, in the coils. We don't know what that circuit does yet or what it's going to do for us yet. But it was a good circuit, and it's way over Unity, so we drew up the wiring diagram for it today. Hmm. Just silly stuff that we play with every day. Okay. You asked? And this is Sunday, I, I did not go fishing. I went fishing yesterday. And ended up with eight. The biggest one was only about two pounds, and everything else was a lot more than that. But it was a fun day. Uh, got there, the wind was blowing out of the southwest, and he caught a fish the very first cast. And it was very productive for the next hour or so. And... Then the wind calmed down real nice, and I thought, oh, boy, it's going to be a beautiful day. So I went to the other side of the lake and started fishing there, and by the time I got there, the wind had shifted to the northwest and was blowing real hard. So I fished for about another hour fighting the wind and got off the lake. <laughs> so it's good. Yep. That's it. I'm home. Well, then that's just fighting me. Might as well go home. Yep. Yep. Fish stopped biting. The wind changed, and it was hard to fight the boat, so I'm going home. So, guys, I'm going home. <laughs> Took my toys and go home. So, Spirit B stands for Chip on Board. Chip on Board. Okay. Uh, I think those have a little capacitor in them, so that when it goes the other way, it... It, like, dumps the capacitor and makes it light, and when it goes the other way, it fills the capacitor. Right, okay. I'm not real sure. Well, I have a link about it. Ah. I will post it into the chat room. I know zero about electronic stuff. Absolutely zero. <laughs> these guys have taught me what these components do, and... They, electronics guys, simply figured out new words for old things. Yeah, these are relays and switches. And if they would say that to start with, I would understand what in the world <laughs> they were talking about. But no, we got oh, to the, yeah, I hate that. <laughs> wow, and people call me retarded. Hey, I, I, I talked to a guy many years ago. I haven't talked to him much since, but uh, he was not an electrician. So he had no electrical terminology whatsoever. And he made up the words for the things <laughs> he was seeing and tried to talk to me about it. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot, and I can't figure out what in the hell he's talking about. Uh, and I get frustrated when I don't understand. Yeah. Like a mechanic talking to, remember in the 60s, the, the muffler bearing shot lady, you, you need a new muffler bearing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I must. Okay, how much is that? You want me to top off your breaker fluid, too, right over there? Oh, it, you know, it just kills me. They got that shit now. <laughs> okay. Fuck. <laughs> Good. Wow. <laughs> you guys have been watching too many reruns of the damn debate. You're making <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here tonight with Joe and <laughs> which one of you guys wants to be Joe? <laughs> the other one gets to be Donald. <laughs> and I'll be the uh, the moderator in Why don't you shut up, man? Shut up, man. Come on, man. They have 
they have finally done it, though. You know, they have made a laughing stock of the United States. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 we've been the laughing stock for a while, but yeah, this they just uh, this is the final. Yeah, the nail the, in the lid. The coup de gras. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to Palestine, my friend. <laughs> wow. Eh, well, that's what I got out of it. And people think it yeah. matters. So, what do we got on our minds tonight? Or do you got some more on this electrical guy that was driving you nuts? Uh, well, yeah, I've, I've got some stuff on Monday's meeting. Ooh, there you go. That's the good stuff. Let me get to the notes. Go straight to the good stuff. Yeah. Take it away, Mr. L. Our our Cambridge guy um, was not following the non disclosure agreement. Now I'm I'm following it very loosely, but I'm following it. You guys even if you saw these wiring diagrams, you wouldn't know what the hell they were doing. So All right. There's there's nothing that I'm giving away. Especially to me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm in the dark amongst this. Well, I uh, I don't know if you'd have noticed, but I had a I had a feeling about that guy from the get go. Yeah, I did notice that. As nope. soon as he uh, when you told me who he was, I dug into him and he's oh he's told you he's the head of the department, he's not, he's you know, he's not really in that even in that same department. Anyways, yeah, I had a yeah, he, He's just a helper. Yeah. Oh, like me, only t- trying to be the big dog. <laughs> yeah. Boy, when you get caught lying like that. Yeah. But he, so, I, you he know. Was, he was taking it to a group from Cambridge, and they were reverse engineering it. Uh-huh. Well, he wasn't far along, and he wasn't far enough along. And it turned out the circuit that we were working with him on didn't work completely. It was only a partial fix. So no matter what he does now, there's no way. Uh, Also, he gave up all of his properly wound coils. He sent them back to us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when he had that little fit and he was going to quit, right? Yeah, yeah, huh. yep. Good chance. Yeah, good deal, good deal. It yeah. worked out great for everybody all the way around. Good. So so now Cambridge thinks that we are absolutely idiots and don't have any idea what we're doing and that our stuff cannot work. Good. So leave us alone. This is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> if, if he continues on and finishes the circuit that he's got, all he's going to do is burn out his existing equipment. <laughs> Yay! Whoa. Good hey guys back. won again. Hey, for a change anyway. Yeah, for a change. I'm telling you, the bad guys have been screwing us for a while. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well, you know, anything positive gets an ass whipping, Larry. That's just the way it really works. If yeah. you're positive, you get fucked. And if you're negative, everybody wants to do what you're talking about. I am completely lost. I don't get it. Yeah, it's, it's just... Uh... But on the bright side, I was uh, checking out BitChute the other day. And the very day that we went, that Grim posted us on BitChute, on the uh, dropping a coil program, we got a hundred hits in a day. Wow! I'm serious, and well, I know it's not a lot of people or anything like that. But for what we talk about, you got to admit, wow, that is a lot of people. So you're you're interested. Well, in yeah, and the amount of promotion that gets done. I mean, yeah, but it's I'm just saying, not, it's but not somebody. So when you get when out there, running so so late, whoever's out there listening to us and and sharing yeah. it around, thank you. Mm-hmm. We sure Absolutely. appreciate that. Well, I was thinking it probably has something to do with Larry and being on Facebook. People are going to the uh, information there and checking it out on Facebook. Why not? BitChute. Because BitChute's still brand new. I don't think they got that many people playing. Yeah, they're... they're... YouTube is just 
it's a uh, what do you call it? like a uh, like a cheap soda. You don't want it, but it's there. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? I don't want to drink water. Water's got fluoride in it. I'll get it. Take. Give me a glass of poison. <laughs> yeah. Right. No shit. Well, I use YouTube like an idiot too, but you know, there you go. Uh, yeah. I mean, it has its uses. But I do stray out and and look at other things. And when I saw that, I was just because we're so off the wall. The three of us together, it's just. I, I tried watching a movie on YouTube yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was really interested in watching this movie. But, like, every 30 seconds, they skipped ahead 20 seconds. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, it, yeah it, it was weird. Yeah, the encoding got fucked up. On and then it was something different all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, they re encoded it and got fucked up. <laughs> I don't know if that's copyright infringements or, or what they were trying to get around with it, but... You're redirecting a movie. <laughs> I don't have any laws that breaks. Right. But I don't. I think all this stuff's just a bunch of shit to keep us chatting anyway. You know, the cops <laughs> got more important things to do than mess with the people on the Internet. <laughs> I would hope. <laughs> yeah, they would. Oh, they want to go out and shoot people and stuff. We're we're oh, kind of yeah. boring. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I've seen some horrid things on the interwebs. <laughs> kind of hard to believe people put up with this shit. I moved to a new rental property one time, and we moved in the night before they were going to turn the lights on, so that we'd be there at eight o'clock in the morning instead of hungover. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, in the middle, middle of the night, there was a big bang on the door. Come out with your hands up. Oh, we went outside, and cops were there with their guns drawn, and I said, gee, I ain't been shot in a long time. <laughs> he said, gee, I ain't shot nobody in a long time. Let's keep it like that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Doc Holiday and Wyatt Earp at your, you know, your new place that you live in. In well, the middle of the night. <laughs> the, the idiots got us out on the front porch, which was about six by six square. Two people with two cops, and they were both too damn close to us to, to have been effective with their guns out and everything. We could have had their guns and had them dead in seconds. Mm -hmm. they, never mind. <laughs> Watch too many movies, people. I'm telling you, man. They don't get it. You need to yeah. be 20 feet away from a gun for it to be a problem. Well, yeah. Unless you're dealing with, like, Wyatt Earp or maybe uh, Doc Holliday. Well, they had <laughs> their guns out and pointing them at us. So, uh, they, were so, they were within arm's reach of both of us. Yeah, so, but were they shaking when they were pointing it at you? I had that luxury in L.A. once. Oh, that would scare me bad. I about oh, yeah. my pants. I'm sitting in the in the car in the passenger side, and this cop is pointing a gun through the window at me, and his hand is shaking. And I thought, well, I guess this is a hell of a way, hell of a way to die, but hmm, I didn't do yeah. anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the most frightened one in any. So what were they there for? The right Why were they there? So I came up with a uh, a name for your following. I'm calling them coil droppers. Okay. I figure if you've if you've got enough of a sense of humor to catch information like this on a platform like we provide, you can en enjoy the name. It wouldn't be an insult. It would be more like, <laughs> you know, oh, you're funny. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, taking it too seriously can really be a drag. You know? Yep. Because there's a lot of disappointment when you try to help people. They're always suspicious about what you're after. What do you want from me, bitch? Oh, I'm here to help. What are you from the government? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, hell no, I'm not here to steal from any. <laughs> Shit, I can't even spell government. <laughs> government. Mm. Well, hey, speaking of which, how are you guys holding up through all the uh, COVID restrictions that they're still pulling on you? <laughs> Oh, oh, man. You got to laugh out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I got around quick trip. 
I took an old mask that was all wrinkled up and nasty and ugly and dirty, and I hung it over one ear and walked in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nobody said a thing. No. <laughs> You know what it would be even better would be to stay in a pair of pants from the outside. <laughs> Don't wear no mask. People will keep their distance. <laughs> well, you know, it was appropriate for the name of the show. Well, I mean, it, as a sick mind, I could have so much fun just harassing the COVIDers. You know. But I, I show good taste, and I just walk by and snicker. <laughs> the moral of that story is don't go commando when you've got grizzly farts and are wearing white pants. <laughs> <laughs> the the guys <laughs> <laughs> uh, You yeah, have to tell you about I saw the weirdest thing today in, that I've ever seen in Denmark so far. Are you ready for this, guys? No. Teenage girl is standing there on the street. You know, off the road, but on the, where you can see her on the street, with both a laptop in one hand and a phone in the other. <laughs> she was running the freaking laptop with her hand with a phone in it, and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" I've heard of connected, and I've seen connected, but wow. Yeah. Well, when we were in Indonesia, everybody over there had three or four cell phones. Yeah, a bunch Jeez. of drug dealers. Ah. All of them on them at the same time. It's just ridiculous. Hey, a man's got to make a buck. But I just yeah. never saw anybody go that to that extreme till today. It was just, <laughs> wow. And the other night, I got a topic for you guys. I think you'll appreciate when you get around to it. Imaginary rights, because this is the way I see the Bill of Rights in any country I've ever lived in, because most of them have one. Or they have a constitution and not a Bill of Rights, but they got the illusion of some kind of rights protected by the government and all this crap. When is the government going to come up with their end of the protection? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Yeah. Have you got right. rights, Rob? All right, I said in the chat room, you only have the rights that you're willing and able to defend. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, okay. I like that one. You'd be surprised, but, man, when somebody wants me to talk and I don't want to, I can make them cry. <laughs> well, if you think about nature hmm. and how it is and was, uh, you know, animals, they don't have a police force. They don't have... Uh, anybody to come and protect them. You either fight or you die or you run. It's fight or flight. That's why it's called that. Um, you didn't have. You don't have any rights if you if you were okay back in the in the colonization days when the <coughs> Europeans first started coming over here and, and heading out west. If you were a man and you just went out headed out west on your own, that's just it. You're on your own. You don't have no rights. The bears don't give a fuck about your rights. The Indians didn't give a fuck about your rights. <laughs> you only had the rights that you were willing and able to enforce defend. and defend. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a combative kind of a concept, isn't it? And as the population has grown and grown and grown, we've developed what's called the society. And uh, a bunch of guys got together and uh, wrote a document and agreed to do these things and did all that. But that didn't change anything. Nature is still nature. Anarchy is still the underlying element under everything. It's just people <laughs> Play, playing roles that uh, they've, you know, fooled themselves into believing that they have authority and power. And they really, I mean, they really don't. Not any, any one of them. 
<laughs> without without order followers, the authority is gone. Yep. And so that's how I live here. Yeah. There's no physical enforcement. So if you do something stupid, you might get attacked by the next guy that's standing next to you. Yeah, that's the way it should be. And that's the way it is, even with even with all the government and police and everything. Yeah, yeah. Police never show up until until it's all over and they're there to count the dead and, and carry away, you know, the bodies. Yep. Or beat up the person that called them because they thought you were the one that did something. <laughs> I don't know. But that tends to happen a lot. They get they get to show up and start wailing on the person that called them. Well, just because they're there with their freaking adrenaline pumping and the roids cranking, and you know the roid ragers is what I call them roid ragers. <laughs> they show up, they're pumped up for action, and they're gonna have it. Yeah. You know. Wow. Whatever happened to just good old living? You know. Yeah, it's, uh, well. Well, over here, a couple of the kids came by the house tonight, built a fire out in the backyard, Cirque made us burgers, and the guys played their guitars for a little bit, and then I told them I, I got radio, I'll, I'll be back later. Yeah, I think one of your friends uh, came in the chat room earlier. Yeah, um, he uses the private message so that, you know, he figured that part out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Magnus. Better on the computer. Yeah, he's way better on Magnus the computer. Magnus B. Yeah, yeah. But eh, they wanted to come by and have a fire and play some guitars and relax a little bit. Uh -huh. Well, that's the that's why I'm so harsh and disappointed about my ex home. You know, mm -hmm. I live in this communist fucking shithole where the taxes are astronomical. Blah 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 blah. And everybody here that I encounter seems to be, you know, that if they engage me, they seem to be lucid and sensible. Yeah. Not not insane. And you know, those people are the ones that are running around wearing masks when they don't have to. Yeah. Well, that's why I got such a kick out of Larry telling me to put a dirty one on his ear. Nobody will say nothing. You're right. Exactly. And especially when you're an older man. <laughs> yeah. I really remember that remark. Well, yeah, you should. You you earned it. You got here. And I'm getting there. I mean, my wife is starting to call me an old buzzard. Oh. Yeah. She's younger. You get so stoned, you just sit there and stare. Not really. <laughs> I do that. I do that before I get stoned. The stone brings me out of the stare. <laughs> it gives me something to think about, you know? Uh, ah, it was a good joke, though. But, so, Rob had a little bit on the imaginary rights, and I agree with you. you know, they don't even exist, really, until somebody threatens your little feelings. And then, and then you go, wait a minute, I've got rights. So fucking what, you guy? I don't give a fuck about your stupid rights, you moron. <laughs> you know, that's when they call the cops, because you've just told them, fuck off. And you can't tell people to fuck off. You know what they don't do anymore? They used to fuck off, but now... They want to engage you and get the cops involved. Mm -hmm. I came out the day when calling the cops was like, hey, that stupid ass called the fucking cops. Let's go kick his ass. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was what we this called the stupid ass. should get your ass kicked. Yeah. That's it. Oh, Look what it turned into. Now they're encouraging uh, people on the internet. He fucking say something. Dog. For not wearing a mask or whatever the hell, going outside? I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Grimner. Uh, <laughs> you can go out for a walk, but it's got to be on your front porch and back inside your house. Uh, yeah. Where you're living? Are you serious or are you playing? That's what the, they got them in London doing. Okay. Well, I was more concerned about where you're at because I, I, that's the shit that I find out about England and uh, Australia. Yeah. I'm not getting any. I'm not getting anything pushed on me through YouTube about America, except for a little bit on the <laughs> the debate. <laughs> <laughs> more, more and more. I told you it'd be hilarious, didn't it? <laughs> more and more state supreme courts are ruling this 
against the Constitution. Yep. But they don't use the Constitution in any court except for the SCOTUS. Yep. So what difference does that make? It's just bullshit, misdirection. Mm -hmm. When they start talking, when the government starts talking Constitution, they are up to their eyeballs and shit, and they don't know what to say, so they make stuff up. Oh yeah. And they don't give a fuck about the Constitution anyway. It's like nobody noticed 9-11 took all of what was left of what they thought they had as far as rights and protections away. Yeah. Gone. Absolutely. Right out the door. No more for you. And here we are 19 years later and still people are still speaking about this imaginary document that's going to protect them from the government. <laughs> and, and if you're not politically correct, it's hate speech. Mm, well, I like the hate speech. You got any no. good COVID tales? <laughs> <laughs> have you have either of you encountered a Karen yourself in person? No. No. Oh. I think I'm too mean looking. I don't think a Karen would have the nut to approach me in the public and say fuck off. Because I look like a psycho. Actually, I, I have, but this was before the whole COVID thing, and I even mm -hmm. talked about it before. Uh, I don't know if we were on the radio then or if it was just in the chat room. When we first got here, uh, we went to the races, the horse races. And Yeah, uh, I do remember it vaguely, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And we we, we walked because we lived about six blocks away from the from the racetrack. And we had walked and, and uh, had been walking, you know, up there and... Uh, we're all winded and, you know, we went out on the bleachers and sat down. And, uh, about that time, um, they had a big, giant, big screen out on, in the middle of the track area, and uh, with a big magic sky cloth waving on it. And they started playing music. And everybody stood up and put their hands over their chest and shit. <laughs> and, it's kind of creepy. And uh, we were sitting there breathing, talking amongst ourselves, and the people behind us were like, man, you can't even stand up through the national anthem. And then <laughs> and then I lit up a cigarette. <laughs> and then <laughs> and they got up and walked off. Poor people. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, now, yeah. they've got a black now they've got a black national anthem. Are they going to have a red national anthem and a yellow national anthem? <laughs> yeah, I'm just Jewish, wondering. A Jewish national anthem. Well, we already yeah. celebrate Cinco de Mayo every year. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, I you know Cinco de Mayo is, is right. Wow. Even. You know what Cinco de Mayo is? Oh, fuck. Do I know what Cinco de Mayo is? No. I know you know. Of course you know. How would I know what that would be? I don't know. It's, the model, change of the, it's the model change of the um, Chevrolet Impala. Oh. <laughs> well, in the yeah, day, they used to have the model change for the next year, and they'd have to retool the, the uh, manufacturing plant to suit the upgrades. So we would call that the yeah. <laughs> Mexican New Year, because <laughs> the well, Mexicans just love those damn impalas. Yeah, man, well, it's, it's, it's the Mexican Independence Day. It's the Mexican July Fourth. Sí, señor. Yeah. For those who well, don't know, what I, I made a comment the other. Go ahead. I made a comment the other night. This one I got to ask you guys. Because I said this, I said, when I need a gun, a right to have a gun won't matter. That's right. Well, why doesn't anybody else notice that, or is, is it just me? And then at the time that I would need it, I wouldn't have one because I'm not a gun lover. So, I'm kind of cooked no matter how I go. So, you know what I do? I don't attack people and make them shoot at me. <laughs> Don't make an ass of yourself. It's work. Well, no, on the radio I fuck around, but in, in well, real yeah, life, no, that's a, that's a different thing. But yeah, but if I did need a gun, 
the right to have it wouldn't wouldn't stop me from getting one, and it wouldn't help me to get. You know, it doesn't matter. It's a bunch of bunch of legal bullshit. People are just scammed by because they're so in in love with this system that we have. They don't know about black markets. Yeah, laws are like locks. They're made to keep honest people honest. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Pretty much because uh, Cirque locks the door, and I laugh at her. <laughs> She's going, yeah. Wow. You can't get on the property without the dog barking. So what's the point of the lock? We got a glass door. They got to break the glass <laughs> to open the door. What yeah. <laughs> Everybody has, has some windows. So, I mean, it's not like they're going to really keep anybody out that really wants to get in there. You know, yeah. they're going to come in. Yeah. If, they, if, they were, if they're determined enough, they're going to do it. You found that out the hard way. Yeah couple of months ago. I remember that. Yeah. I was paying attention. But, you know, the, just the idea of this rights crap that I've been listening to my entire life, right? And whenever I think about what right do I need to apply here, I never do that. I know there's like 27 amendments, right? And I'm sure that if you thought it through, each amendment would assist you in your present problem. But I don't have that kind of time when I have a problem. Actually, <laughs> most of the ones after the first 10 were... <laughs> Going backwards. The, ones that weren't buried. <laughs> the yeah. only ones that matter are the ones we don't know about. Yeah, well, in the 13th that they mm. they stripped and hid. That's and what I was replaced. To, sir. Yeah, prohibition on titles. Well, you two are armed, right? You can, you got weapons. I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, that. Oh, all right. All right, bad, bad, bad. I well, okay. Let me re re. Yeah, I have guns. All right. Where? You, sorry. Where are my weapons? Where? where? Well, Which I'm just saying. It was a nice way to a segue into asking you that. If you did want one, would the law interfere in your decision to have? It? No, no it's it. It. Oh, okay. You're a manly man, then, huh, Larry? No, <laughs> not at all. Oh, you, you, you I'm, a li- I'm a little bitty guy, and if I want a sword or a knife or a gun, I got them. I'm gonna have it. You should get two. <laughs> two handed. <laughs> you don't have enough fingers and toes to count them all. Oh, that. Yeah. Well, life's little privileges. Hey, are you enjoying your white mm. privilege? Where did that oh, bullet go? Yeah. 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 Oh, I am. I'm yeah. around a bunch of white people. You know what they don't notice? Oh, <sighs> they don't notice that I'm not white. What are you, pink? Kind of, yeah, like an off-white. But from the the heritage, I've got I've got half Caucasian white and then half Mexican. And then I got the Jew thing going on, and that's not white either. So, what, are they top half or bottom half? I don't know. I think the inside to the outside. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I'm Jewish one, I think, but I'm Mexican one. I oh, never mind. <laughs> I can't say that on the radio. My wife will get embarrassed. <laughs> anyway. All right, more questions because we are under the threat of force here, folks. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, out in there in Radio Land. Yeah, we are, aren't we? In some way or another, I think so, anyway. We're being threatened with uh, the possibility of the corona could do this and fucking do that, and these bullshit artists keep pounding it into the population, and these population fuckers keep supporting it. Nobody except me will come forward and go, fuck you. I ain't doing that shit. Are you nuts? So, Welcome to my world. Be quiet. I, I think everybody should be proud of their race. Really? Period. Okay. I don't have yeah. one. What do I do? I, I'm, <laughs> I'm proud that I am what I am. I, As rough as it's been in my lifetime, it's hard to think of anybody having a rougher lifetime or are being held back from more jobs. I've wanted to be in a think tank for 40 years, and I just got in one in the past couple of years. So, 
What changed? Free time. Doing oh, what okay. I want to do rather than, than what, what yeah. I had to do to make a living. Yeah. Wow. Yep. But you're happier now, right? Oh, golly, yes. You've always got something interesting to tell us when we get a hold of you for the Drop in the Coil show. Oh, it, it, every day, every day for me is a new discovery. Every day I learn something new, not only from the group that I'm working with, but from things that I research myself from the ancient times. Uh, I've been looking at a whole lot more old rock reliefs, and every single one of them that I see, those aren't gods. Those are pieces of equipment. Those aren't holy relics. They may be holy relics, but they did something. They were, it wasn't just an object. It was something that did something. And it, it just freaked me out. I have something for you, Larry. I posted this in the chat room yesterday, I think. and uh, uh, But I thought of you when I saw it. Seven hours of bafflingly advanced ancient stonework that experts are still struggling to explain. Oh, golly, yeah. Uh, yeah you posted that yesterday, I thought. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, I nope. thought I was on mute. But it, it, does, it, it, it talks about, uh, like, the pyramids and how uh, it would have been impossible for the people of that era with copper or bronze tools and, and uh, you know, uh, well, stuff to make these things with, with, their, with their straight edges and sharp corners and polished marble and granite and all this stuff. Uh, I'm, I just barely into it. It's, Six hours and fifty minutes of this guy talking about all the different kinds of stuff that they found that's uh, you know pre-Egyptian. Yeah. Or yeah, I guess it would be pre. Huh? Would yeah. Well, well, the 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 established theory is that. Uh, 2500 BC or so, the, the Egyptians built the pyramid. It took them 30, 40 years or something like that. And the guy did the calculation. There's so many millions of these stones in the pyramids that they would have had to lay one of them 200 ton stones every two minutes. <laughs> or something along those lines. Anyway, there's just no way no possible with the technology they had that we know of uh, at the time that they could have possibly built that. It's 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 absolute proof positive that there have been civilizations prior to uh, anything we have in our written or recorded history of. I'm a firm believer in that. Well, I know, I know you are. That's why, I thought you, that's why I thought of you when I saw that. There's technology found in, in coal that's 400 million years old. Wow. Well, there's computer chips found in coal that's 200 million years old. Uh, yeah. All, all of this has been done before. Everything that we've accomplished is old hat. Yeah. Uh, nothing new under the sun. That's hey, right. Did you see the link I put in the drop in the coil thing for you guys to look at? I did see that. that. Okay. There's no dialogue through it. And I don't know how the guy does this. It's just it's weird to watch, but is that real? Uh, it's hard to say. He doesn't give you enough information. Well, there's other links attached to it, so, you know, it goes on. But just yeah, the, yeah, idea. Melting, the melting metal with magnets? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, there's a link that I found that doesn't explain anything. There's no words. It just shows you the three minutes it took. Yeah. And it it's just kind of levitates in the center of this coil. Yeah. And he pushes it with a sh really sharp, sharp pencil, and it, in three minutes it melts. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. When, when, when you've got um, a magnetic field, and that coil is a tubular coil, and he's probably circulating some sort of a, of a 
ferrous material in it so that he's conducting electricity. That that big coil that he's got there that he's melting the stuff in is an induction furnace. That means that the magnetic field that's generated in it interacts with the iron or whatever in the metal, the conductor in the metal, and that creates heat. It, that's how that's our instant hot water that you're showing. All you got to do is take your, that copper tubing, run water through it, which also generates a little bit of electricity, but put that, put a, an iron sleeve around that <laughs> and put that in a high magnetic field and you've got an instant hot water. That, that iron is going to heat up red hot real quick depends on the thickness of it and the, the mass of it yeah. but it's going to heat up and get red hot and melt so it's just a matter of how far you put that piece of iron into the magnetic field as to how hot it gets how fast it can dissipate the heat yeah you, you can out. figure out trial and error and just figure out where it is. yeah yeah and and that works exactly the same way to make cold water. The the heat that you're putting into this is drawing the heat out of the rest of the water or the liquid in this tube to to make it hot. To make that part hot. So that means that water way away from it in that tubular system it's going to be cold because the heat's been taken out of it. Right. Yeah. So cold, cold isn't really the essence of heat. Yeah. Hot on one end, cold on the other. You've got your hot and cold water at your faucet. Extremes. Yeah. Opposites. It's not just cold water. It's cold water. <laughs> like out of the yeah. Floor. Yeah. Real cold. Uh, well, when I watched the thing, I wasn't sure if I was watching a magic trick, so I figured I'd ask you guys. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I don't think it's a magic trick, but it's, it's science. It's really cryptic the way that the video is set up. I mean, they don't explain or or tell you anything. It's just just probably so people wouldn't try to do it on their own and fuck something. Burn well, out. first of all, you don't you don't know what they're uh, running through the tube. Right. You don't know if they're putting electricity through the tube. Besides that, um, we don't know what material. Was that a magnet in the, that they put in the middle of it? I'm yeah, assuming that was magnet. the magnet. They I'm put assuming, a, yeah. yeah, they put a magnet in the bottom of it. That's what melted. The round cylinder yeah. thing that they put in the middle was a magnet, and it melted. Yeah, yeah. So it melted the magnet. So would that work with just a straight piece of metal? Uh, no, it wouldn't because if it if they had to put a magnet in there to make it melt, then there was nothing running through that tube. Exactly. But all they had to do was run a ferrous metal through that tube, yeah. and they could that would have generated its own magnetic field. And then they could have put a, any kind of metal in there at all, and that it would melt. Right. Uh, if, so if, they're, if they're, they're, putting up, they're putting up complicated situations, making them look simple, yeah. with no explanation. Okay. I was just well, it just people don't know the physics behind that kind right. of thing. That's me. I don't. I don't have physics knowledge. Yeah, that's most people. That's great. But I do have luck. But I do have luck finding the, the links. <laughs> <laughs> you did good on that. There's a bunch of them. Well, every now and again, I even a blind squirrel caps in it. <laughs> it. It's not free energy. Uh, well, I if they're pumping, if they're pumping something through them tubes, they're pay, they're 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 paying for it. They're using yeah. they're using power for that. Some kind. And with with getting it just from the magnet, yes, that's that's heat from 
a magnetic field only. I don't see I mean, it. I don't see it, honestly, to be honest with you. I don't see that set up. Just putting a magnet inside a copper coil like that is going to do anything at all. Other than fall to the bottom. He's, he's got a magnet in the very base of it. I don't see the other pole. I don't see that. <laughs> yeah, all the way... Well, maybe not. I thought... I thought that all the way down in the bottom of his coil, where it wasn't getting hot because the little end, uh, that... Uh, uh, I don't see anything in the bottom. Mm -mm. Okay. There's nothing there. It just sits there. He's got to be running a current through that copper tubing. Yeah. Okay. In order and, to and, I, and, I, and I don't even really believe that running a ferrous solution through there would be enough, unless you were pumping it at super high velocity. Um, yeah, it'd have to be circulating pretty fast, yeah. To, to yeah. get that kind of field. Um, and so they, they had to put, they, there had to be a charge on that copper. Well, is there a reason why it's uh, glowing in the inside, like a pot plant stem? You know, well, it's green here, it's, it's purple there. This is copper on the outside, but on the inside it looks red hot. It could either be red hot on the inside because of the melting magnet, or if he's running a current through it, they'd made that just a stove top burner for an electric stove. Well, the, 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 <laughs> the metal in the metal melting, glowing red hot, is what's creating the red glow on the coil. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, okay. Now, that's what I thought. <sighs> okay, I didn't. That's just that. a glow from the from the melting magnet. Okay. Yeah, if, if, yeah, it, was, if it, it was a heating it, coil off of an electric stove, the whole thing would be red. Yeah, no, that's just glow off that, that uh, okay. white-hot magnet melting. Well, it's still interesting that you guys can make this much out of so little. You know, you come to a decision with just this little bit of information in front of you. I am impressed. <laughs> Oh, it's like I, get, well, I can only go on what I see. You know, we, there's unknown factors involved. Like I said, we don't know what kind of charge they're running through that coil. We don't know it, what kind of liquid, if any, they're pumping yeah. through it. Um, we just, you know, we don't have all the facts. We don't have all the. Yeah, but remember in the day when you could stand next to the car and start it and, and hear what's not running right. Mm hmm. Yeah. And they, they modified all that out so that you can't tell by listening. You need to get it plugged into a computer. Yeah. They complicated the fuck out of life. <coughs> we would be having a lot of fun in 2020 trying to figure out what side of our face to put the mask on. <laughs> hey, I'm still holding up. I have yet to break right down and have to do that. I am prepared, but what a fucking day comes, I'm going to cry like a little girl when I have to do it. Because it'll be my own choice to please my wife. You know, Be a pussy. Make your wife happy. What? Uh, well, because to me, all this mask learning is just submission to the state based on a fucking story you got told through the TV. Yep. You know, like uh, going through the moon. Or maybe like the uh, fish head people from the planet Spawn. <laughs> Can you lift a twenty ton block? Yes. I just don't I just don't have the uh, uh the instructions, but I know where to get them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Reed Scalman, there is a visual fucking uh link, physical link of him actually working. With the uh levers and the all that shit that he built to lift the stones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all balance and it's like, wow, if you know where the balance points of shit are and what tools to use, you can do anything. Well, and then what you, what you tell the public is how impossible it is, so they'll never figure it out. Yep. We're, we're so hoodwinked by these idiots in power, and the masses are just... I mean, I saw Trump and what's-his-name going at it the other night. Wow, we're fucked. We are... Be whatever fucked is, we passed that 20 years ago. <laughs> well, well, I'm so glad I'm at the end of my life. If I was 30 or 40 right now, I'd be in, I'd probably be a different person. 
I don't I don't see handling this life mentally the way I think. Nah, I'd be in a basket case. Yeah, because you know we were we were raised on television to teach us about viruses and you know the shit that you're going to catch from other people. One thing I have yet to figure out: they finally found a virus that is both airborne and you get it off the surface. <laughs> now there is your very first clue that there is something askew. Your first clue to that they're lying to you is read the damn box that your mask comes in. <laughs> the simplest of it all, huh? But, wow. I don't get it. I'm so confused, Larry. I can't figure I'm just... Ah. <laughs> Frustrate that again. Oh, no. Anyway. So, as long as they keep us confused, I think that's all that matters. Keep us pitted against each other. So we're always arguing about Trump and Biden and left and right, nigger yeah. and white, and all this horse shit that, when you think about it, it only matters in large groups. Mm -hmm. Hey, I could walk into the local bar, of course, not now without a mask, but, and yell, hey, nigger! And nobody in the room would, they'd go, oh, it's Lou. <laughs> Nobody would throw anything at me, call the police, shoot me, nothing. They just go, oh, it's the long hair freak. Uh. <laughs> well, that's kind of a comforting place, you know, in, to be in a society right now where people don't freak out over what you say to them. Oh, I, I didn't mention this on the radio, I don't think, but uh, my neighbor passed away the other day. The man that had, uh, he had cancer. And I'll probably say something about it in the chat room, but yeah. I might have, but I didn't say, well, he he passed on the last radio day I did, but I didn't bring it up. And uh, in all this time, I've been living next door to him. I have known what I know, and I can't tell him. I could never bring it up to him, because you don't say alkaline environment in front of anyone. It's like taboo. Yeah. You see the eyes roll when you start to try to help somebody in in a way that they don't recognize. You go nowhere. So I kept my mouth shut and the man died. You know, I'll tell him anyway. Yeah. I, I've told several people. Um, Good luck. But I, you know what? Take it or leave it. That's, you know, it's your choice. Well, this is... But if I, don't, if I don't tell you and then you die, then I, I feel kind of, you know, like I, I could have done something. But I mean, at the same time, I really don't care. But... Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, well, this is ultimately, it's, it's, it's on you, man. You got cancer. Right. Uh, this is the third <laughs> cancer fatality I've, I've known personally in the, in, since I moved to the town I'm in. Wow. And every one of them, when you say anything, they roll their eyes. So I just shut up. Because hmm. they don't, they, they're not prepared for, wow, can you imagine what a fucking collapse you would have if you found out after your mom died that, she didn't have to die. You're not. Nobody's ready to. They don't. That. They don't want to know that. <laughs> no, no. So here I am. You know, at, at my age, with all this knowledge, and I can't tell anyone except on the radio. Yeah. Well, here we are doing it. I know, and I'm still alive. Go figure that. I mean, yeah. shit, just my attitude should have got me killed by now. <laughs> when you well, when I think it through, I mean, there's like times where how the fuck did I survive that? Yeah, <laughs> and here I am. But I don't know. I just feel I I feel like uh, I know trying to help would have ended badly, so I sh shut my mouth. But right, because he was doing the chemo and all that shit, and I was just watching him just die right in front of me. Yeah, middle at a time for about a year. I saw him, you know, and uh, the other day they went, "Wow, he's gone." Went, oh. So, yeah, so yeah. Well, the thing to do is to not get sick of uh, m imaginary illnesses that are sponsored by Rockefeller Medicine. Yep. Yeah. But try explaining that to anybody, and most of the time you get, you don't know what you're talking about. Ah, mm -hmm. Well, then how come everybody that goes to the hospital doesn't come home? 
Yeah. Why is that the last stop? And then it's, hey, bye, Grandma. So. Yep. But here we sit, you know, with all these government uh, organizations and medical research and all this shit they shut down their throat. And the answer's right in front of you. And if you tell anyone, they tell you to shut up. <laughs> what a well, there's, many, there's multiple answers even. So, I mean, it's just... Yeah. Oh, come on, Rob. It's like Larry says, we are an engine. What you fuel the engine with is what you're going to get out of it. And obviously, the man did not eat very well on the overall. Yeah. Cancer is a product of toxic soaps and deodorants and all that stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, your skin is, is an organ, it absorbs everything that comes in contact with it. I know, yeah. And they got us washing our yeah. fucking hands with bio this and fuck them. Yeah. No way. Oh, that hand sanitizer shit has got more poison in it than yeah. drinking. Well, yeah, they recalled like a dozen of them now or something like that. Oh, uh, man. I've never used have that you, shit. Sunscreen have, either. Fuck that shit. Have you seen yep. anybody pulling that and tugging at their mask while they're wearing it? <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody, uh, everybody pulls it down below their nose. And right there, you're so, supposed to change it. Yeah, yeah, but as soon as you touch it with your fingers again, you're supposed to remove it and get another one. You know, they're like... Oh, hey, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, what a fucking joke, man. Well... It's just a fucking joke. The whole thing. I'm not I'm not amused anymore. This has been almost a year. Yeah, ago. it's... it's uh, yeah, and they're blaming and they're blaming the financial. This is my favorite part of this whole uh, hoax. They're blaming the financial crisis on the hoax, mm -hmm. not blaming yeah. the hoax on the financial crisis the way it should be. <laughs> right. Well, we, we needed to slow you idiots down a little bit, and this is all we could come up with. <sighs> they're talking right. about imprisoning leaders and all this good stuff that ain't never gonna fucking happen. One of the leaders of the Fed says they shut down the economy for that. That they did it on purpose. The yeah. Fed did it on purpose. I saw that. Yeah. I believe it. I thought so from the start. I I think, of course, nobody else does. I think it's been over for, we're at two years and a day now. But it takes a long time to kill something that big. Yeah, for all the air to get out of the bubble. Yeah, there's so much going on and flowing and stuff still, no matter what they shut down. And plus the black markets are going. So there's going to be an economy one way or the other. But it's not the one they tell us about. <laughs> no. <laughs> fucking, what's his name, Bezos and what's that other guy, Zuckerberg. All these fuckers got rich. Well, they're people that, that made them rich are losing everything they have. Yeah. And this is okay with society. This is what I'm pissed off about. What the fuck is wrong with people? Are they so ignorant that they believe that these guys deserve everything while they have nothing? <laughs> well, what a bunch of nut jobs. Right. Mm -hmm. And then they gather and they protest and they burn a city down. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoops. Where are you going to get your groceries? You just burnt down the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> that was so stupid. Well, no, it, it seems to me that it fits the plan because they were shutting down the uh, food production. Mm -hmm. So, well, if you got no food to sell, why bother to have a store? <laughs> yeah, we're so fucked. Oh, my God. In six months, we probably won't even be able to afford to be on the Internet anymore. <laughs> Well, if you I'm wanted going toilet paper now, if you wanted to rewild an area, how would you go about it? If I wanted to what? Rewild. Rewild. Yeah. If you wanted well, to rewild, yeah. if you've ever looked and done any research on Agenda Twenty One, you'll know what I'm talking about. No, not a minute of bother in that shit. I don't care. Well, one of the plans is is they want to rewild most of North America. And make it oh, a, okay. I get it now. Yeah. And they're going to have these biospheres where humans will not be permitted. And 
from the Seriously, world. yeah, and they're going to have these corridors where all through the country where the wild game can travel back and forth through the country. There's a map out there. You can find it. Um, somebody could find it if they wanted to. No, I'm not. Um, Virginia 21, rewilding map. Um, if you got it, I'll put it. The, the, the question. Oh, yeah, shit. I'll have it in a second. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, if you wanted to rewild an area, how would you go about doing that? Realistically. Burn all the houses down. Would it, would it be better and easier to go door to door, tell people to leave, or start a fire? <laughs> you tell me. I'm not. But it would be a lot easier to start a fire. You got nobody to blame. Yep. You got uh, people got to get out. The shit's all burnt down. And watch. Well, not, there won't be a lot of back, back in to rebuild. I've seen them try to blame Antifa for the uh, West Coast fires. I'm sure that's part of it. Yeah, but not. Be, oh, come on. You know how hard it is to start a fucking fire. It's not easy. Mm. No, it's not that hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, then. Okay. It depends on where you're doing it at. But well, yeah. Depends on the pine, pine conditions. With all, yeah, pine needles with all the tar in them. That's turpentine. That's yeah. highly flammable. Uh, all you got to do is put a little pile of pine needles at the base of a tree, and it's gone. So, for all you anarchist scum out there planning to burn down a forest, you've just been told how to start it. As if you did. If you didn't know how to start a fire, then uh, maybe you shouldn't well, be playing with matches anyway. Ah, so. All I mean is, it's hard for me to believe <laughs> that these twenty-year-old idiots that don't know not to wear a fucking face mask or out there with the intelligence on how to burn down a forest. Yeah. It strikes me as odd. Well, I'm sorry. Yes. That's, uh, that's just part of it. That, you know, they've got the directed energy weapons, that there's evidence of that. Yeah, so that government, you know, point two is... You've got the electric company with transformers blowing up right and left because the shit's 30, 40, 50 years old. You know? Uh... Wow. And or that's more. what pisses me off. Yeah. I'm sure that's one the of your gas, pet peeves. Yeah, the the gas systems, the plumbing systems, the electrical systems, those were originally designed to last between 50 and 100 years, respectively. It depends on which one. They've known for that 50 to 100 years that these systems are going to collapse. Right. So who's going to pay for putting them back in? They didn't save the money for it in all those years. We're going to have to pay to put them back in. <laughs> yep. Hey, <laughs> they're, they're setting up another $1.6 trillion bailout check. You've had 100 years to save up for this shit. You knew it was coming. Ah, it's chance. on you. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, can I blame Hansel then? Because I, I don't live in America anymore. He's closer to the coast, east, west coast than I am. You can, you can blame anybody you want. Yeah. Won't change Ooh. a damn thing. But <laughs> I know. Uh, isn't that a shame? Blaming, blaming does nothing. Well, it satisfies people. They love to do it. It's a key word. <laughs> or dodging dodging responsibility for the decision is the new thing in Australia. I don't know how it's working in the States. But yeah. they got this prime minister guy, right? Yeah. And his and his answers are well, I didn't make that decision. Well who did? I I have no idea. What? You <laughs> shut down the whole fucking state and you don't know why? Somebody just called you out of the blue anonymously and said, hey, you should shut down the country. And yet... And you did it. Pop- <laughs> and the population... <laughs> and they, they buy that shit. Is, the reporting back to the people is, the population loves him. Well, just because the news people tell you the population loves him, how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> news people... Look around. <laughs> 
and all these all these morons that lost their job and are locked down and they can't go anywhere and they got to wear a mask if they do and all this other shit curfews they're all happy as fuck to live like that according to the news media yeah and the uh, people for departments all say that, it's like a script you know they all say the same rubbish over and over and over but where are the people that are enjoying all this help from the government they never uh, interview any of them just the experts you know yeah I bet if they interviewed you you'd have a different opinion probably I mean I've not yet heard you or Larry brag on the COVID restrictions of 2020 <laughs> jeez I um, just I actually down, bend over a table and tell the government to have a good time. Fin wake me up when you're finished. You know, mm. I don't get it. I'm so yeah. livid. Yeah. But luckily, it's um, just about other people. Not I'm sick of it. I know, but oh, fuck! How do you avoid it? What do you? How do you not have a conscious thought? I about stay it? home. <laughs> you don't ever think about any of this when you're playing on the interwebs? Uh, as little as possible. <laughs> Break. <laughs> and I go in the chat room and see that or Trump and Biden and, mm. or... Yeah. I know. Some other bitch whining about something. Yeah. Well, ah. well it's just a damn good thing that... uh. We're living in the 21st century, and everybody's so fucking smart. Yeah. If they weren't smart, we'd probably be living in a living hell right now. Yeah, everybody's a genius on the fucking internet. About everything, too. Oh, 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 yeah, no. Well, some more than others. <laughs> well, I can you have your superstars that. like Hans, who knows everything. I mean, yeah, but I could be accused of that because of my stand on the COVID yeah. from the gate. It's bullshit. No, go away. Well, what are you, an expert? Well, no, I can read. <laughs> huh? Never mind. Go yeah. away. You don't get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but... The things, yeah, it seems like the things that I did pay attention to mattered, and the things I ignored, like virus movies, turned out to be the right decision after all. I didn't get sucked into that. Oh, everybody's going to kill you. You know, bullshit. No. There are people, I've heard this on, from the English side of it, there are people in, the, in England that are so afraid of this COVID thing, they believe that if somebody touches them, they might die. Yeah. Why? Wh you, where do you... Do you have a point zero 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 one percent chance of dying? On top, yeah. You gotta Were be you like, trying to kill me? You got to be fifty to worry about it. And we're all over that. So, huh? You mean I? Are worried. you worried, Larry? No, no. Sure? Larry's I, well. take, <laughs> I, I take my I take my instructions from Alfred E. Newman. <laughs> what? Me worry? <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, well, somebody's got to worry. I'll worry for you. What do you think of that? I think you're wasting your fucking time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> At least you're honest. I don't know if I like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make me all sad. I, I will worry about the things in my life that are important to me. And other than that, I don't care. So, do you feel that this government overreach is just a, a little too much, or what? I believe that this immoral, child-raping, child-eating, fucking immoral government that we've got now does not have the right to dictate my morals. Hmm. Well, they seem to believe they do. Yep. And I saw the best of the fucking best of the best arguing on TV the other day. And let me tell you. Oh, well, that does explain the mess just a little bit. And that poor Biden guy, every time he tried to talk, Trump just shut him up, walk over him. Like, wow. Ugh. It was 
don't know. <laughs> Some people were excited by Trump's behavior. I thought, how embarrassing. I, we have I a think, debate. Huh? I think that it would be nice if, if Trump would get a few manners. But I like most of the things that he says. Really? Huh. Yeah, well, well, you know, political promises have never panned out, so I don't care what he says. Yeah. It's never going to be what we see, so fuck Trump yeah. and his ass. It, it, but, it seems like his attitudes about mm -hmm. certain things really match up with mine. Oh, uh, so when he gets to tell the truth until they make him change it, you know, because they do, they, they make him oh, backtrack. Yeah. Yeah he's, handler. Just, yeah, he's controlled just like everybody else. He's a figurehead. Yes, exactly. Whoa, see. Well, don't tell Hansel that. He'll have a meltdown and probably implode. If, if you want to change everything that's going on in the world, get rid of every political advisor that there is. <laughs> Real help. <laughs> yeah. Get a gun. Start shooting. See, that's how... You, and, well, that too, but... See, I think my my reality it dictates to me. The reason all this crap for the last 40 years is all bullshit is all the assassinated people were all telling the truth and all the people that are in power were the fuckers that shot them. Yep. And they're still in power, or their family is in power. Now, I don't have any idea how Kennedy's still hanging around, but he's still out there. Junior? Yeah, I believe that Junior's still alive. Yeah, he's still talking. He, and he's not anti-vax. He's anti uh, the shit that goes into the packaging. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just, come on. It's the same shit. You don't have people put shit in your blood. It's stupid. <laughs> I had I had measles and mumps. I had mumps three times, once on each side and once on both at the same time. I had measles. I had chicken pox. Yep. Is that how you get immune to that shit? Right. Did it when you're a kid, when it's not going to hurt you, or... All it's going to do is give you a fever what? and make you stay in bed for a couple oh, of Oh, yeah, RFK, whichever K, one of those fucking Kennedys. The only living Kennedy left. It doesn't matter what you call well, him. I, 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 think, anyway. I think that Junior's still alive. No, I, I, was, I, I always do that, Larry. I say the wrong name. I think one thing and speak another. It's Robert Kennedy Jr., not John. They killed him off in the 90s or something. They... they Supposedly, he died in a plane crash. Yeah, there you go. Something. No, I don't think he did. I think that him, him and Trump were buddies. They were never found. Yeah, they were never found. So uh, yeah. Trump could have Trump's family could have could have hidden him away. They're rich enough to do that. They could have hidden him away. Well, yeah. Kennedy's family's rich enough to do that, for that matter. Grow your hair long, grow a beard. Nobody knows who you are. Yeah, there is a lot of speculation that he's still alive. There's uh, supposedly my buddy Steve told me there's a video when uh, Trump was doing the speech at Mount Rushmore. There was a man standing up on top of George Washington. Yeah, I saw that. And with his arms up in a B, doing the V <laughs> symbol. Yeah, supposedly he has he has a twenty year plan, and. I think next year is the year that 20 is over with. So yeah. We'll so that would have been 2001. Yeah. The year of 9-11. Damn. See, and I'm so old now, I can't remember which one's alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's only one left. I can't remember his fucking name. Uh, well, I'm not a big fan of politicians in the first place. Me neither. Well, but Jeff K. Jr., uh, the little bit of the history on that, uh, it's, you know, he started that magazine. Uh, what the fuck was the magazine he started? No idea. GQ or something? No. One of those men magazines. Anyways, he was open about uh, what he believed about his dad's assassination and that he was going to bring them to justice and he he was 
he meant it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, he was serious about it. And and uh, I, the the story goes is that he got wind of, a, of an assassination attempt on this airplane, on this flight he was about to take, and they set it up. Uh, it had a bomb on it. And they set it up with a remote detonator and sent the plane up uh, with a pilot that he jumped out, set it up on autopilot, jumped out. They hit the switch while it was over the water. The plane went down. No bodies were ever found. Isn't that cool? So that's the, the uh, conspiracy theory. Those are usually the truth, too. Yeah. Mm. And that's bad. Is and that he's been orchestrating uh, these things uh, behind the scenes for a long time. But, yeah, and another thing is, uh, you know, Trump's uncle uh, ended up with a bunch of Teslas. So, yeah. So that whole, I mean, it's all, and it's, I don't know, there's just a lot of, a lot of things tying in together there that make me wonder. And they're in but the then, and then he goes and sticks his head straight up fucking net and you he's ass. So, I mean, what the fuck are you supposed to believe? Oh, out of Trump? Yeah. So, uh, please, I never bought any of this shit from the start. Yeah. yeah. I told you, they could have a fucking baked potato in the White House, and I could give a shit. Yeah, I, I get it. I, at least you can light a light bulb with a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how to do that with a raw potato. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not a baked one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we live in this fantasy world anyway, so you might as well make the best of it. Yeah. So well, the truth is a lie, and a lie is the truth, Rob. Yeah. I, I have something I want to discuss with Larry uh, about uh, frequencies. Yeah. yeah, get yourself all primed. Uh, first, I want to go into the history of the frequency uh, that our electrical systems run on, the 50, 60 hertz systems. And... How did that come about, if you can tell us? Uh, who decided 50 and 60 hertz was... was? How did that get determined? And uh, um, what is it about that that makes it ideal, I guess I should say? Okay, let's go to the Wayback Machine and go to the Second World War. Uh, Hitler wanted to control people. And how did he do it? He did it through manipulating their minds and giving them fluoride to dull their senses. Uh Okay. I don't know... I don't know who to credit with it, but it was during... Hitler's time that they changed the music frequencies, the power distribution frequencies, and uh, something else. Anyway, they, they changed the music and power to 440 instead of 432. Okay. So, so it's been going on for a long, long time. The 440 keeps you agitated, a little bit on edge all the time. Yeah, just out of sync. Yeah, yeah, just something's not quite right. Yeah. And okay, well, let me let me hold you up. Uh, let me stop you there, and let's back up even further because if it was at 432 prior to World War II, yeah, how, how did that come about? And who, who decided 432 was the right frequency, and, and how, how did that... that... That came from music. The uh, original music was 432 for some reason. Okay. 
And yet there's a lot of sounds that you cannot produce uh, in 432 that are in 440. So that tells me that those sounds themselves are bad. Hmm. Interesting. There, there, there are some sounds in the 432 frequency that will not convert, or in the 440 frequency that will not convert. Right. So let's, let's go back to Tesla and, and uh, Edison. And, okay. Uh, you know, because Tesla had the AC, Edison had DC, and, uh, you know, they had the big wars over it, and there were uh, shocking elephants and animals and, uh, you know, fighting over which is better and all that. And eventually, uh, the AC won out. And so, okay. the distribution systems that were originally created at that point, were those at 432, or how were those set up? No, those, you know? were, those I, I don't know what those were at, but I do know that the frequencies that the Tesla equipment puts out are harmful. Okay. They, those frequencies need to be tweaked a little bit, and the reason is because he did not have modern equipment to do his to do his uh, testing with. Not not that he built his own equipment, but he didn't yeah. have the proper test equipment to show him what he was getting. Uh, and at that, point, <laughs> at, at that point, at that point. I don't think Tesla knew anything about the rife frequencies. Yeah, and I was just going to say, I wonder if he knew about the Schumann resonance and all that. Yeah, I, I don't think that he did. Uh, that stuff, rife was a, what, wasn't he Russian? Uh, so that's completely the other side of the world. Yeah. So, uh, in those days, you don't get news from Russia. Yeah, no, especially back then, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I don't think that he was informed on that level. Uh, the, the towers, I went through the same thing. Oh, by the way, May 2020, uh, Trump announced that he's going to use the proper frequencies, the 432 frequencies for 5G, he got my message. Yeah, and then he's uh, saying that. Yeah. And uh, also, I got, I was down in Waco uh, testing <laughs> at Baylor University when they uh, were doing the Tesla tower down there. Yeah. Got their frequencies before the tower was completed, and gave them the proper frequencies to operate that equipment at. Right. So we'll we'll see if they did that. Uh, but yeah. Tesla stuff. Okay. In in my opinion, point of usage power. It would be better to have that DC. Okay. Tran transmission power, if you're going to transmit it either through the air or okay. over a wire, that's AC because it goes farther. That converts it into a radio wave, into, into a sine wave that moves rather than a flat line DC that just travels from point A to point B through the wire. Right. Yeah, it's a vibra it sets up a vibration frequency. Yeah. That's what the yeah. whole 40, 50, or 50, 60 hertz thing is all about. And that's what I was, I'm trying uh, to, to get the history on that, first of all, and uh, try to, to, to nail down um, not only when and why it happened, but uh, the dynamics behind it all, the, the what it does. Now, the frequency, the 432 frequency, is, is that a harmonic of the Schumann resonance? No. 
Okay. What determines no. that number? What determines okay. that 432 is beneficial? The Schumann residence, resonance is, they all go down to 9. 432 is a 9. Uh-huh. What, what that is, is that showing that those are perfect toroidal shapes. They have the perfect magnetic fields to be harmonious with people and nature. Okay. So the Schumann resonance is a factor of nine as well. It's a factor of nine, yeah. So it is a harmonic of 432. Uh, yeah, but they're... In, they're sense, in, in the sense that it's a factor of nine. Yeah, yeah. Um, like uh, on a, like on a different octave or something like that. Yeah, just that's what I was about to say. It's just a different octave with the same sound. Right. Which is the harmonic. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Um, the uh, and so you, you say the 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 fifty and sixty hertz four forty systems came about during World War Two. Yeah. And who rolled that out? No wonder. I think Hitler rolled it out worldwide. And I don't know how he did it. Probably through the Rothschilds. Yeah, which means the Rothschilds did it worldwide. Hitler was just one of the... It, well, I, I, I don't know about the Rothschild thing, but it was done during his time... And somehow, through some organization that was backing them, it got to be worldwide. Yeah. What do you know about the reason behind Europe being uh, set up on 220, 60 hertz, and the uh, Americas being on 110, 50? J.P. Morgan. Okay. It's cheaper. Okay. If you if you've got something that on a hundred and ten it takes ten amps to operate it, if you could operate that same load at two hundred and twenty volts, it would only take five amps to operate it. Right. You're feeling smarter than Americans because their shit's cheaper. Okay. You can run a bigger load with the same amperage. And so that's the matter. That's the matter of, of of your appliances in your house and wire in your house. I mean, you could still do it here. Yeah, it could all be. They could all be two twenty. People just don't do it. Yeah. Because it's just become traditional to do it this way. Yeah. And that's all. Power company, J.P. Morgan propaganda. We want the most money that we can get from our customers. Yep. If you can't charge for it every month, I ain't interested. Wow, you sound Jewish. <laughs> mm. Hey, it's like the war chant of my people. Take them for all they got. Yep. And make, them think it's, make, make them think it's their idea. It's always easier that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Protect me, I'm Jewish. Oh, help, help. <clears throat> so try yeah, to so get a, try to try to get a refrigerator that runs on two twenty. Yeah, you have to order it from Europe. Mm hmm Oh, now wait a minute. Whoa, that would be a two twenty fifty if you ordered it from Europe. That would be a machine that was specifically tuned to operate at fifty. At yeah, fifty hertz, right? Yeah. And you can only operate that at ten percent plus or minus. So it was only good to fifty five or forty five. Fifty five or fifty four, yeah. Or sixty. Only those two numbers. You're at sixty, we're fifty, right? Or is it the other Europe, way around? Europe, Europe yeah. is fifty and yeah. we're sixty. Yeah. So that much I know from living here. And it's yeah. not Europe anyway, it's no, 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 the rest of the fucking world basically. Is it really? I don't know. 
Okay. Well, I knew America was a little bit. Larry says yes. Is Mexico uh, one too? I don't know. Can't you Google or schmoogle or? Oh, yeah, 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 I can do that. I thought you were a computer guy. There, I so can. can uh, answer your question. Oh, no, I got a buddy that just asked his phone and his phone will tell him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, See that for all the oh, gizmos and gizmos, it's still a shithole. Here we go. We got the whole world right here. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. This is one being uninformed about anything that you're interested in is just meaning that you're lazy these days. If you yeah. want to know yeah. it, it's right there at your fingertips. <clears throat> I know. Uh, and people are dying, and they just don't, they don't know the information's on the Internet. They don't even they know look. what their doctor tells them. Exactly. Oh, man. Oh. I learned the hard way, Larry, like you did. Doctors, yeah, doctors are just Where's people Mexico? trying to make a dollar. Don't Mexico is on 127 volts, 60 hertz. One what? Mexico. One yeah, they're, they're oh. weird. Everybody else is one. Seven uh, volts. 120. 127 volts. Yeah, 60 hertz. What are these? Three and four. Uh, number of wires, three and four. Plug types. Oh, uh, here, let me just post this up here so you can see what I'm looking at. Yeah. Oh, that. That's Share with the class, Mr. Rob. Share okay. So there is a um, list of voltages and frequencies back entry. Uh, cool. So it's a it's a mix. Um, Canada's one twenty sixty. So yeah, the Americas are are basically one one twenty sixty hertz, and. Uh, the rest of the world is 220, 230, 50 hertz. What about Russia? What's Russia doing? Let's see, Russia. You're Russia. sworn enemy. The Russia, Russia is 220, 50 hertz. Oh. So they still use the shitty, yeah. See, everybody's using the same shitty crap in the first place. So whoop, whoop. Doesn't yeah, well, they're both shitty crap. I mean, it's just yeah, the 230 yeah. is cheaper to run and operate uh, based the on, uh, yeah. Well, Larry put it pretty right when he said, hey, we need some money over here. Pay us, pay us, pay us. But, yeah, if you scroll through that list, the majority of the world's on 230. 220, really? 230. On top of that. Huh. Yeah. Some of them are 240, some of them are 220, 230, 240. And what, what, does that actually, oh, all right. what does that actually accomplish by being different? And instead of everybody using the same smart way to do it, whatever that would be, the 54 cycle, for example, uh, why all this fluctuation and variation off of two, circuit, two cycles that don't work properly? That's a good question. Uh, I mean, uh, Larry's answer to that was Larry's answer to that was J.P. Morgan. <gasps> yeah. No, the greed bone. It's all about money. Damn, damn you, money! <laughs> all about the like money. money. I know. Anyways, can't yeah. live with it. Can't live without it. Well, okay. okay. Think of it like this: if if you were an inventor of something. And if you changed it just a little bit, you could get more money for it. What would you invent? The one you could get more money for, or the one you get less money for. All right. Ah, uh, see, you're asking. You're not going to believe my answer because <laughs> you know, I am the cheapest to sell. Well, I I used to be a salesman, and when I was a salesman, people love discounts. So if you you know go in and you offer them something at eighty dollars, which is only forty dollars more than you're willing to take, if they're interested, by the time you get to forty to close the deal, they're like, "Wow, how many can I get?" 
There you go. It, just playing off the buyer's greed and ego. Is That's how why we is, told them we could save them 30% on their power bill. Uh, well, there you go. That's he talks and the uh, <laughs> rest of it just does stuff. We don't Taiwan have is 120. Really? Yeah. It's the only eastern Taiwan, country I've seen I think, that's 110 or 120. And Taiwan is one of the five countries that stayed out of the hoax. Mm-hmm. All, the rest, all the rest are Western yeah. uh, the Americas uh, and the islands, Caribbean, Honduras, Jamaica. Japan, uh, Japan's 100 volt, 50 or 60 hertz. What? That's weird. There are single phases, 100 volts. There are three phases, 200 volts. And it's uh, 50 slash 60, so I guess they have the option. Holy cheap shit, Batman. Oh, that's not Delta, and that's not Y. I'd love to see their transformer configurations on that one. Well, there you go. You have some research. Liberia, where's that? Uh... That's 120. That's in the east somewhere. I think. North Africa? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere in the, on the, in the, in the eastern continent. What um, Liberia. It's in Africa. Yeah, that's think, Africa. Somewhere. Yeah. So they're 120. Uh, the Marshall Islands. Mexico. Micronesia. Nicaragua. Yeah. That's another country Panama. that stayed out of the hoax. Panama. Basically all the Puerto Rico, you know, all the Caribbean, Western, Mexico, United States, Canada, South American countries are all 120. Let's see. What's Brazil? Uh, Belize is 110. Uh, Brazil is 127. Anyways, so that's interesting. Uh, Peru's 220. So is Paraguay. So it's a mix. Kind of weird. I just thought that was interesting, the, the, how that all came about. And I mean, I know you, we talked about the 432 being more harmonious with life in general. And... These frequencies are disharmonious, um, but it's it's interesting to know a little bit of the history behind it and how it came about. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, it's a mix of uh, countries. I mean, as far as what their standards are. Um, yeah, and all these standards are set and based by politicians and their agents. Bunch of well, I think it's probably more set by the companies and corporations that are producing same electricity. Thing. Well, well, uh, well just yeah, same thing, pretty much. I mean, it's all they all got to control Edison everything. Did, Edison didn't go around every country in the world and say, "This is electricity. This is how we make it." Right. The idea came out here, and Larry figured out how to do it over here and Mike figured out how to do it over here and what's his name everybody yeah. got their own little systems going Yeah. and if you ever had the best advertising to sell their system <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that won in that country yeah yeah that's, that was, that's why they basically came down to marketing it was a market, it's a marketing thing. It's just the way it played out. Yeah. And it's obvious that the Western countries were influenced. The American Americas uh, were heavily influenced by J.P. Morgan. Mm-hmm. But not completely, because Peru and Paraguay uh, and... Uh, you know, several others are 230. 
Mm-hmm. Where's Uruguay? Where's Uruguay? Yeah, they're 222. Venezuela's 120. All your Caribbean islands and stuff are 110. Uh, but pretty much the rest of the world is 220. Interesting stuff. So, um, how to get that standard standardized <laughs> to uh, shit? There's no uh, way in this world that anybody's going to change any mainstream thing at this point or at this time. It's not well, going to happen. Look what they did with this freaking COVID crap. You got to be too connected to that nah, to change yeah. anything. Nah, only certain people can do these things. And yeah. the truth will never be involved in anything that we hear in the public eye. You're crushing my dream. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I'm a realist. Talk I'm about sorry. talk I'm about sorry. Captain Buzzkill. No doubt. Well, somebody has to do it. Rob, can't you mute his microphone? No, I don't have that capability. Why don't you shut up, man? Come on, man. We'll Come be on, like man. <laughs> I, I get to be that, that uh, Chris Wallace guy, right? Uh, I told you, let's reenact the debate for our listeners. <laughs> hey, no. I do have something. I do have something, though. Uh, I said this in the chat room and nobody paid any attention. But I think you guys will probably get it. The reality of the Corona Doomsday will be in the results of following government mandates. So all the shit that we've been threatened with and warned about and all the crap that we've been worrying is going to happen. It just didn't happen. See? They're, they're working on the future. This is going to come. And it's going to come. But it ain't going to come the way they tell us, but it's going to come. And people are going to drop like flies. And my estimate is somewhere between now and February. Yeah. All this mask wearing these people are doing in the heat and it's humid and, you know, they're carrying shit. I saw overweight people just look like they were freaking suffering. You know? Yeah. And I'm shooting by walking with no mask. So. But... What do you think of that? I mean, do you have an opinion on it? Well, I think wearing a mask outside is stupid on top of moron. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because, wow. I mean, they uh, came out, I mean, pretty much knowing that viruses cannot survive sunlight <laughs> for more than that. 30 seconds, you know, ultraviolet light tends to kill it, make it shrivel up. and Yeah, they hush that up right away. So if you're wearing a mask outside, yeah, that's stupid on top of moronic. Ouch. Damn. Why don't you tell us how you really feel, Rob? Because well, the, ma- the, the mask... The people are wearing them inside their car with the windows up by themselves. Yeah, and then, and then okay, well, let's, we've got to come up with a new fucking word for that. All right, but my point is more like when these people that are following the mandates finally do get ill, the state is going to blame it on Corona. Yeah. And they've been, and they've been sitting there rebreathing their fucking shit coming out of their lungs for the last month. So the crap that they predicted in, in March is going to happen in like November, December, January, February, somewhere in there. The The... Health is going to... People are so unhealthy, it's pitiful. Wow. So, anyway. I'm well, going to meet Doomsdayer. If Trump don't drop the hammer, we're fucked. What does that mean? Drop the hammer. What? What? If the whole Messiah thing isn't true. Wait, the whole what? <laughs> you don't remember the Messiah thing we talked about? A couple of... Weeks ago, no, or so. not really. Oh, eight weeks ago, I don't remember what I had for dinner. <laughs> well, then, oh, that's what you took notes for. Well, I'm not sitting here in front of all my <laughs> folks, so. I'm yeah. like you. I need a refresher in the memory department. N-A-S-A-R-A. Oh, money or N-E-S-R-A-A-R-A. 
Uh, that's the whole part of that whole deal with John F. Kennedy Jr. and, and uh, all the indictments that are supposedly waiting to be coming down on all these people and lock her up and all that shit. Nah, I don't pay any attention to that rubbish. These people own the fucking stock to run the companies that lock them up. I'm not disagreeing with you. It's a big... I'm just saying, if that's, if that's not real, then we're, we really are fucked. Oh yeah, then we're looking not, at we're yeah. looking at a science fiction dystopian future from hell. I have a one word of advice to you, sir. Askapuku. <laughs> Save your Dixie cups; the South shall rise again. Yeah. Wow, what a mess all this has turned out to be. People don't know history. They don't know. They don't have common sense. I don't know what the fuck purpose taking a statue down is. Do what? What purpose? Yeah, and they don't. They don't want to know. They don't want to learn. They don't want to uh, advance anything other than some stupid fucking cookie cutter mentality. Of, I want everything for free. The government owes me a living. <sighs> oh, that again. Well. Me and my wife are of the persuasion that it's it's kind of an insult to be born onto this fucking planet and then at a certain age be told, well, now you got to fend for yourself. Yeah. yeah. After you spend all those fucking years wasted in school learning absolutely fuck all about how to survive, they just teach you shit that you never use. Mm-hmm. It's all well, wasted. Yeah, and after, after the elementary part, yeah. the so, rest is brainwashing. After the after the the the, the three R reading writing arithmetic. What happened? After that, it's all it. bullshit. And even I that, and they they even turned that into bullshit with this common core crap. Yeah, text on that. a cell phone thing, which call them a, a text thing. Mm. People write off fucked up little three letters means three oh, words. Oh, it's so like in the chat room. Yeah. That's shorthand. where we're at. Text shorthand. They can't spell shorthand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's it's a shorthand. shorthand. Spell check has done that. <laughs> Can you imagine what our dictionaries are going to look like in 200 years? <laughs> Matchbook. They'll be uh, nothing with emojis. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little faces. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'll be a, it'll be hieroglyphics. Yep. Well, <laughs> fellow Corona survivors, I don't know how we do it. We <laughs> must be really, really smart. Yeah, or Listen, stay on the rock. Rock. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the I'm smarter than a virus movement. Okay. Probably be alone, like with my cult. <laughs> <laughs> But I've got patience. Hang in there, man. Well, I don't know. I just don't. I just I, don't see how anybody with a brain cannot figure out that this is a fraud. It's just obvious. Yeah, the obvious the conclusion is there's not that many people out there with a fucking brain. So man, they're, they're better than that. Over they're just over. they've just been programmed. They're drones walking around. Running their little scripts. Say the same thing over and over and people believe it. Like us. Like us. Yep. Only we don't say dumb things over and over. Well, we say dumb things, but only to be funny. I don't think we're... When we're being serious, I think it's obvious. We're yeah. Clowning around, you know, that we're clowning around. But yeah. it kind of makes the show more interesting than to not be all one way about any one thing. You know, have a little. Don't time. be all one way, man. Well, hey, I, I was worried we weren't going to even have a show because Larry. Don't forget that joint, my friend. Well, Pass I mean, it down, down the line. Hey, but I look forward to doing the Thursdays with you guys because I, I end up learning something or finding out that I learned something that wasn't a magic trick. And Larry can explain it. What the hell I just saw? Take a toe. Oh, yeah, smoke. Day. It'll blow your fucking mind. Uh, no, I, I'm beyond that. 
the lies have gotten. And you can't outdo the lies of the last 40, 50 years. There's nothing. Stick, stick with me, kid. I'll have you wearing horse turds as big as diamonds. Oh, hey. Booyah! Uh, horse turds. Hey, hey, my dog might like that. And crystals. Well, Hannah <laughs> likes cat turds. I don't know about horse turds. Ooh. Yeah, we got to keep the dog, the cat room separate from the dog because the dog will go and do stupid shit in the dog's cat room. You got to keep them separated. I know being an animal must be a drag. Always some human telling you what to do. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You know, being a human is kind of a drag because there's always some human trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, and they won't even clean up my shit, man. <laughs> What a word. <laughs> well, and, and but to make things interesting, though, in a world that's this fucked up, I still managed to meet the two of you, and we get together and get to do this. So yeah, it could be cool. really fun, you know. Very and cool. slowly but surely, you're gaining a little bit of a, a following out there. People are listening to what you guys got to say. Well, that's cool. Because this is a energy. You know, program. That was the whole reason I wanted to do this with you two. Yeah. And yeah, we fill in bullshit stuff because there's only so much to talk about. Yeah, we've, we've run the coral thing down pretty good. Uh, uh, speaking of which, did you have any more uh, contact with the manager, uh, managing uh, engineer, whoever you talked to over there? Or oh, the project engineer. Project no. engineer. Uh-huh. No, we haven't we haven't heard anything more from him, but there's really nothing that that uh we can talk about now. We've got every bit of the circuitry done and Yeah, well, I just said you were out. making the drawings up for him or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and until the until the lockdown is done right. uh it's over with he can't leave his country to to even to travel between the islands without being. So yeah, managed. they still haven't uh, determined what island they're going to use yet. No. Uh-uh. Okay. So and nobody can travel. We're yeah. Yeah. We got to be the way all the restrictions are lifted, then we'll be all right. Yeah. We, so we've we've done everything. Go ahead. I so we, we we've got a six circuit panel for the house worked out. Yeah. It's a coil. One one coil provides the energy for those six circuits. Because we're going to, I I don't know if we're going to grass huts or mud huts or just houses with no electricity. I don't know anything at all about what they're made out of or whether they even yeah. sleep in tent. I don't know. Yeah. Well, so, just set up PowerPoints and... They can yeah. plug in as they need. Yeah. I, you know, I imagine it's probably a little more advanced than you think. People have this idea that the rest of the world is is still living in grass huts and shit, and that's generally not true. <laughs> yeah, when, when, I, when, when somebody says village to me, that's a bunch of circular mud houses with thatch roofs on Yeah, them. yeah. Uh, and I know it ain't like that. No, generally not. I mean, unless you're way out in the boonies somewhere. Yeah, I I would imagine it'd be more like a, a Navajo reservation here. Mm. Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah. Just overhead lines strung through the trees to get where they're going and yeah. little tiny bits of power, or maybe only lights in the generator room. Yeah. Yep. They probably only run the power to operate the well to get water and things like that, but... Yeah. But who knows, you know, they may have... Who knows what they got? You may, they may be completely in the dark. Yeah. So... Well, I mean, just to, to see it develop, it will be exciting. Interesting point. A COB LED is yellow, and most insects aren't drawn to yellow. Oh, that's why you have those yellow bug lights. Yeah. And there you have it. And with that, 
We are out of time. Wow. It has been a show. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I had fun. Likewise. So, we will... Well, Larry, Larry and Rob, you guys need to get a phone number from Larry or something so he's not so late next time. Yeah, actually, I do, we'll do that after the show. Um, hey, now. Yeah, I'm going to start giving a, a, a buzz about a, a half hour ahead or something. <laughs> right. He's a busy man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know you get caught up doing stuff, but anyway. I was sitting in my chair working. <laughs> yeah. Kept putting that ping and not figuring out what it meant. <laughs> yeah, well, get him, get him that, uh, get Rob that phone number that wakes up the dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he can call you and go, hey. <laughs> right. So that's the one I don't have a hearing aid in. Right. Okay. Maybe I'll have to go fishing with you then or something. Damn. I don't know. Okay. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. We uh, enjoyed it. Hope you all did. And we will see you again next week. Yo. Yeah. Bye. Bye.